So now it's time to start using the data logging for doing some actual experiments. And for this one, we're going to connect two external temperature sensors. So we're going to use the sockets that are in the top of the box. I'll take my first sensor and carefully insert. And I'll take my second sensor and carefully insert. And so my two sensor temperature sensors are now connected. And if we have a look at the screen, you can see now that we have a total of three different temperature sensors and a light sensor on display. The two temperature ones that we've just inserted and one is the internal temperature sensor within the lock box. So with our two temperature set probes connected we can actually start asking the question what can we wrap the cups with to keep the drink warmer longer. So we have our two identical cups with hot water in, our two temperature probes and our first material to wrap a cup in, some paper towel and in a moment we can insert both of our temperature probes but first of all let's set up our software to capture the relevant data. So at this moment in time I'm not interested in my light levels so I will hide the light away and here are my three temperature probes and the green button icon at the top will start my recording here we press my graph is now being displayed with three temperature lines so into the two cups go my external probes and instantly we see two lines have increased because those are the two probes that went into the hot water the horizontal line is our just check probe that's inside the lock box the original sensor and as our lines just gradually move across we can see the time of this experiment going on we're just coming up to 50 seconds since we inserted the probes and we can very definitely see that the two probes in the hot water indicate that they are hotter than the air that the log box is detecting and already one of the cups is recording a higher temperature of its water than the other. I'll leave you to suggest which one is which. And as we come to the end of our line on the graph, notice the graph suddenly becomes smaller to accommodate the fact that the horizontal scale is now in minutes rather than those seconds. And we'll let the experiment run here for a few more minutes and then come back to have a look at the graph. So here after eight minutes, I guess our coffee, we really want to be having the last dregs. So big question of course is which line is which cup? So let's just take the temperature probe out of one cup and see which line hopefully drops suddenly now that the temperature probe is out. It'll probably take just a couple of seconds to start reacting. And the top line seems to be dropping very quickly now, indicating that the cup that was wrapped with paper towel was the top line. So it's now time to actually stop our logging. So on the software we'll just come across to the red hand to tell the experiment to stop recording. The software will now re-display our graph indicating here the red line for us changing the icon here to go to the unwrapped cup and changing again to show us the wrapped cup with the indicative sudden drop, drop at the end.
let's use another sensor now, the light sensor built into the log box, uh, to explore the question, what colour should I wear of a night time when out walking, so that I can be seen. We're going to use the software in a snapshot mode to capture precise individual points, depending upon each colour, so let's set the software up to enable us to do this. We're only interested in the light, so let's hide away the temperature and the sound and let's change from doing our timed into doing our snap snapshot by hitting on this little yellow hand here so we're now in snapshot mode as you can see and let's hit the green button to go so our graph comes up and it's asking us what's the first reading going to be called so I'm going to imagine that I'm wearing some red so let's call this first reading red we'll just type that into the screen and don't press return yet because when we press return that will actually capture the reading so let's set up a very simple version of this by taking one of our torches to simulate our car headlights and I'm going to shine the light onto the coloured card which is going to reflect any light from that colour down onto the light sensor on the log box and now when we hit return on the computer screen we've now captured our first piece of data labelled red and so we're now ready to think about collecting our dip second piece so again if we hit our green we can now take our second label which will be we're now wearing some green and we'll come back to make sure that we set our car headlights and the colour in the same setting and we're ready to say OK to snapshot and we have our second bar very similar to our red colour so let's line up to take a third colour which will be our yellow so again back on the screen we hit green up will come our labelling window so we put in our yellow we set up our car headlights and colour and in the same way as before we then say OK on the software to grab that value OK and let's take one final colour our black typing in for the, our black label it's all set up again ready to grab the reading snapshot and we have our three recordings and so we can now hit the red hand to say that we're stopping all this snapshotting and the graph will now display separately for us with all of our bars individually labelled according to the colour that we actually used and if you take one global look at the graph I leave you to start to speculate as to which colour would enable you to be seen if you're out of a night time and the car headlights were shining on you.